Robert Morris defeating the Fairleigh Dickinson Knights 62 to 48 and with the victory by St. Francis over Sacred Heart the Robert Morris Colonials are Northeast Conference regular season champions and will host the Northeast Conference tournament throughout as long as your team keeps winning Charlie Biscalia but obviously the first thing that we want to talk about is Janae Brown we saw her go down in the second quarter talk about uh, any prognosis you may hear yeah right now it's real early in the process you know she obviously was in some discomfort with her ankle so we're we're hoping for the best right now and as time you know time goes on here we'll know more and you know I'm just going to say a ton of prayers for her and um, you know she's been so great and um, you know that's a fighter right there so if anybody can be back it's going to be Janae Brown. Charlie let's talk about this basketball game a big win you led from stem to stern and really no third quarter lull like we saw against Bryant or Sacred Heart. We pushed through you know in the end of the you know second quarter we got a little comfortable there on defense even though we held them to 26 points uh, they were getting too many good looks. We had some breakdowns. They shot at a really good field goal percentage. That was the worst field goal percentage we've given up in a quarter so far this year. I believe it was like 70%. When I looked at that, I was you know really upset. But uh, you know we got to move forward, and you know that's what we talked about in the locker room. And I was proud of the players for coming out in the third quarter and establishing themselves again and playing with a good pace. And we got back to playing more accountable. You know some of that that run was not just offense. You know that was defense when we we extended the lead and and we got into a comfortable lead. And uh, I'm proud of them for responding and then stepping up when Janae went down. That was really big. Let's talk about Rebecca Novato, nine pig points in the first half and then uh, chipped in with two in the second half. Good performance by Novato who struggled as of late. Yeah, Rebecca could be a nice player when she does everything for you. And uh, she shot the ball well early on for us and that was great. She set, you know, set the tone with hitting some shots early on. Um, but defensively, you know, she's long. And, you know, when she can defend like she like she can and she goes out there and does what she can do, you know, she can be a good force for us. So, you know, she had some good minutes out there today. I wasn't happy with her at the end when she carried the ball and, you know, she just didn't look like she was really focusing because at the end of the games, Real good free throw shooters need, need to be able to handle the ball. And, um, you know, we got to have her out there at the end of the games. You've had Nia Adams entering the lineup a significant portion of the games over the last few games, and she's really come in and stolen some quality minutes. Yeah, Nia has been great for us. Um, you know, I really love her work ethic out there. You know, she's very accountable when she makes a mistake. She's very accountable to come back and try to make it right the next time. And uh, she's been a big, big, big plus for us coming off the bench. She started some this year, too. She's handled everything we've thrown at her. So I'm really happy for her that she's really developing well, and it's, it's through a great attitude and a great culture. I'm really proud of her for, you know, Know, really adjusting and she adjusted quickly last year she was in in the conference tournament some big moments too doing some great things so she's coming along real nicely 62 to 48 Robert Morris defeating fairly Dickinson and with the win by St. Francis over Sacred Heart the Colonials are Northeast Conference regular season champions Charlie, one player that didn't have a great game today but has played great as of late is Neka Zebo. You've got to be encouraged by the way she's playing. You know, she's a freshman, so she goes through her ups and downs, and we just, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you got to be able to, to, to focus on the things you got to get better, but you got to handle it with grace. And, and that's what we're doing with her. You know, she, she, she's a young player with a lot of ability, a lot of physical strength. She's got a lot of tools in there. You know, she's just got to stay accountable to what she's got to get better at and then take it all with grace. You know, sometimes she looks down when she makes a mistake and stuff, but, you know, this is all joy. I mean, she's out here competing with her teammates. They're all serving each other. I mean, I'm really proud of her that she's been able to bounce back from bad moments like she has and come back with good performances. She's somebody we're going to count on because she's growing up, and I'm, I'm – I'm really proud of her progress. One play you've got to be proud of is on a Nikki Stamalam Pru. 22 points today. She led your team in rebounds at just five feet nine inches tall. She had seven rebounds, four assists, and three steals. Yeah, Anna did a great job, and she was, you know, obviously big stepping up when Janae went down. You know, handling the point a lot. I want to say Shakima Dashel too came in, hit a big three for us, and played with a great pace. She's been working hard. She doesn't always have her best game, Shakima, but you know she works hard every time, and she's a great leader no matter what her role is. But you know, Anna was steady for us all day. All day she was steady for us. You know, we needed a bucket, and it came through, and, and she took care of the ball for how much the ball was in her hands and how much she created. She did a good job of taking care of the ball today for us. So Anna's been a great leader, and I'm really proud of her. I mean, over four years, she's developed into not just a great basketball player but a great person, and I think it's showing here when the moments come of adversity. Looking forward to this Sunday, the Northeast Conference quarterfinals here at the Seoul Center. Obviously, the light starts to shine a little bit brighter once you get into March. You know, I mean, one game at a time, you know, it's really nice to see that we were able to, you know, obviously get the first round home game. And now, you know, we host throughout if we do our job. But, you know, this team is really built on not looking at standings, not looking at rankings. 
I didn't even, you know, think about who else was playing in this league today. It was all about the next game. And the players' culture is the same way. I mean, I don't hear anything about another team that they play three games down the road. Everybody is drilled into who's our next opponent. So when we get in there and we know who we're playing and, and we're ready to go, I mean, it's going to be all about the next game. And we'll just take it one step at a time. And no matter what, we're going to give it our all. And we're going to have our head up at the end of the game knowing that we served each other throughout 40 minutes no matter what. Congratulations on the win. We hope to talk to you after another one this upcoming Sunday. Thanks, Sam. Appreciate it. Again, Robert Morris defeating the Fairleigh Dickinson Knights here at the Charles L. Sewell Center by 14 points, 62 to 48. A 14 point win for the St. Francis Red Flash over the Sacred Heart Pioneers. And Robert Morris wins the Northeast Conference regular season championship. And we'll have the coverage of the first round of the Northeast Conference tournament here at the Sewell Center this upcoming Sunday. Tip off at 1 o'clock. Justin Piles and I will be on the call for you, not only here on NEC Front Row, but as well on ESPN Pittsburgh and the iHeartRadio app. For Justin Piles, I'm Adam Gusky. We'll talk to you then.